Hey Drewtubers and fans, it's Drew. Welcome back to my variety channel, California Pickin', where I show you all kinds of variety of content so no one gets bored. Hey guys, we're out here at Topanga State Beach, and I just built this rock stack for you. Check that out. It's about four and a half feet tall. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, we're out here at Topanga State Beach, getting some beautiful weather today. Let me give you a little pan around. Down there is Santa Monica in the distance. And this way, over here, this way, look how beautiful this view is over here, is Malibu. Malibu Beach down the way. But anyways, today we're gonna do a little video on another favorite of my topics, the topic of UFOs. And we're gonna be talking about UFOs in the 1950s. In 1952, there was a wave of UFO sightings, just an absolute wave that was, uh, it went from like, you know, 10 sightings a year to like a couple hundred, all in a little bit of time. And in 1952, the President of the United States was Dwight D. Eisenhower, otherwise known as Ike, and he was a five-star general. He was in charge of all the Allied forces in World War II. I just want to show you the delicacy, how I did this rock stack. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Right down to the smallest rock on the top. Hard to get a good shot of that. But yeah, I've been rock stacking for a little while now. This is one of my taller versions. Hope you like that. There's no mortar or anything used there. I just stacked those rocks. I met a guy out here doing it, you know, a while back, and I was so impressed that I thought, I'm gonna give it my shot at it. So what do you think of my rock stack? Now, Dwight D. Eisenhower is said to have actually met with aliens, extraterrestrials, at a place called Holloman Air Force Base back in 1950s, 1952, I believe, where he met with extraterrestrials, guys. That's what they say. It's not coming from me. You can go look it up. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's actually been written about so many times. Whether it's true or not is something that can be debated. But once again, I have a strange connection. Six degrees of separation, guys, to Dwight D. Eisenhower. He, in fact, was the Republican candidate for president. He became president. And my mother, the famous actress Janet Blair, I'll put a picture up here right now, My mother, Janet Blair, actually campaigned for Ike back in the early 50s so he could become president. And he actually wrote her a letter. And I'm gonna show you this hand-inscribed personal letter to my mom from Dwight D. Eisenhower, the president of the United States. So how cool is that? My father actually had that laminated to a board. I actually wish that he hadn't done that. I wish that he made a photocopy and, and laminated the photocopy to the board because now the signature is not as valuable. It's still pretty darn cool. I'll probably never sell it, but... Anyways, like I pointed out, down the way here is Malibu. We're right here at Topanga State Beach. But it's said that in Malibu, there's an underground, underwater, excuse me, underwater UFO base because 
Many people have seen UFOs come out of the water, otherwise known as USOs, underwater submersible objects. I personally have never seen one. I'd love to see one, but that's why LA, Los Angeles is a hot spot for UFO activity. And back in the 50s, in 1952, there was a wave, as I said, and we had a, a wave of UFO activity right over the Capitol in Washington, D.C. And there was a moving video taken of these objects and uh, the government no longer could ignore the fact that these UFOs were buzzing our planet and buzzing the Capitol. And Harry S. Truman actually was asked about UFOs, and he responded like this. Oh yes, we discussed it at every conference that we had. There's always things like that going on. Then, of course, I got interested in UFOs because when I was 17 years old, I had taken a girlfriend up to Mulholland Drive to get a little uh, privacy up there, as you know what I mean. And we got in the back seat, and sooner or later, we saw this huge white light right outside the car. It was huge. We got both got out of the car, and we saw this large, spherical, moon-shaped object sitting uh, that night at the tip of the moon, because we had a crescent-shaped moon that night, and this thing was absolutely huge, and it illuminated all of the mountains that was in background of where we were, up in Mulholland Drive. And it was very many years between the time that I saw my next UFO, and I recorded it on my Sony Handycam back in 1996. It was a black object and it was hovering in the air above my house. I was sitting in a jacuzzi. I ran across the street. I got my camera and I started filming. One day I'll show you that film footage. Hey, so I might, have, might take you down to the water. Why not? It's beautiful, guys. Had to get out of the house, had to go visit the beach. Been locked up, been cooped up. Don't like that, gotta get out to the beach. Hey, shout out to all my Facebook groups, whatever it is, UFO groups. I'm in some Hollywood groups because of my mom, etc. I love doing these videos, a variety channel, you know, so you guys don't get bored. Check out this plane. Check out this plane going by, look at that. So hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and hit me up on Patreon if you feel like supporting the channel, throw me a little tip through PayPal, that's all great. Keep me going on California Pickin'. Cheers now. There's my rock stack. January 4th, 2022. Happy New Year, you guys. Hope you have a healthy and prosperous new year. Hope we all do and hope we get past all this junk that we're going through. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Out here at Topanga State Beach. Beautiful day. Cheers now.